Hi, how do you tell if your car battery is any good? Uh, sure, you can test them with a simple voltmeter, which you can get for 15 or 20 pounds, $20 or so. Uh, it doesn't tell you a lot about how much current the batteries can actually deliver. And I often thought about getting myself a proper car battery tester. Uh, I managed to get my hands on one of these recently. Uh, it's not on at the moment because it's powered from the battery itself, but it has actually uh, a lot of very useful functions like um, the cranking current testing and also can test whether the car is charging your battery. Uh, so let's have a quick look and go through what it can do for you and why I think it's actually a pretty useful gadget, which uh, I should have had uh, a lot sooner. So I've got a range of batteries here, uh, a new leisure battery, a battery that's been in my car for quite a while, not 100% um, strength, um, and a NACA battery, which although it charges, um, seems to just continuously take current all the time. But let's see what the meter says about these batteries. And when my wife comes back in the Freelander, we're also gonna test the new battery that's in there, which will also show how you can test whether the car is actually charging the battery. Okay, so first we'll do a basic battery test. So red onto the positive, black onto the negative, and you can see the tester powers up, simplistically just tells you what the voltage of the battery is. Uh, press M for menu. So the first uh, simple thing we can do is a battery test. And we have to tell it what type of battery we've actually got. Um, so a lot of them, a lot of the old types are regular flooded. Uh, if it's not shown on the actual side label of the battery, which this one doesn't actually say a lot, I don't think it makes a difference whether you say it's uh, AGM or regular. I'm going to assume regular flooded. Select that. And then EN or lots of other options on there. These are basically different test standards. And you see here it marks 450. I don't know whether you can see that. So let's try and zoom in a little bit. There we go. So it's marks. 450, which is the cold cranking amps, 450 amps, and it's an EN standard rating. So we'll select EN on here, enter, and then you put the cold cranking amps specification of your battery in there. A lot of different values. It goes way above 650 amps. I'm not sure what the maximum is. We'll find out later. So let's select four, oops, 450, enter, and now it goes off testing and presumably it's trying to draw 450 amps out of the battery to see whether it can deliver it or not. And there's the test result. It actually delivered 477 amps because it's a new battery. It says 100% health, which is great. Uh, it says the internal resistance, what it's rated at, and the conclusion, good battery. So that's quite a nice test. The other tests are cranking tests. So for this one, we need the battery installed in an engine. While we're waiting for that test, it's worth mentioning it does support quite a number of languages. Let's have a look. So that was the test on a good battery. Let's try it on an old battery that is not so healthy. So this one is Ian Standard again, 480 CCA cold cranking amps. So again, let's set this up for battery test. Take it as regular flooded because I can't see anything else on the label. And it is EN rated. And this time 480. And then enter to test. Takes a few seconds doing the test. And pretty much as expected, the health of it is only 65%, which is why it did tend to struggle a bit in the car sometimes and was flattened a couple of times. Nonetheless, it delivered 388 amps, which is still acceptable. And uh, the conclusion is still a good battery. So I'll keep that as a spare. Next on the bad battery. All right, so we've got it set up for 650 amps. Let's enter, do the testing. So not unexpectedly, it's saying it's only 20% health and it's telling you to replace the battery, 
which uh, I was able to deduce from the fact that it uh, went flat and didn't charge very much. But the testing meter is giving uh, uh, a good test of the battery and giving you a good result and telling you when the battery is knackered. Bad, the light has come on and said. So this um, tester could be very useful if you're in the habit of picking up second-hand car batteries and like scrap yards because you can't really tell from looking at them or just measuring the voltage and you could whip around a few batteries and pick one that is 100% health so could save his money um, after I don't know a battery change or two. So for the next tests of the cranking test and the charging test we need the battery to be installed in the car so here's my new Exide battery wired up and let's do the first one of those tests cranking test gives you instructions start the engine which we'll go and do and then straight away come back to the screen says voltage is good so what I actually did there was to measure the voltage on the battery while the engine was being cranked in other words while the engine was being started and reported what the actual voltage was on the battery while the starting was happening and it said it was a good battery as expected for a new battery all right next test Let's do charging test. Please start engine. So let's follow that instruction again. Engine is started, press enter to continue. Ripper test. It feels quite nice because you look at the graph of how the voltage and battery is changing over time. And it's now got some load on the battery. And it's testing that. And it's now asking me to increase the RPM. 2500. I don't think it's too critical. Keep it, uh, keep it five seconds, press enter to continue. So we'll rev the engine to what well, is around 2500 RPM. Keep it five seconds, press enter to continue. And then after that test, you can see the loaded and unloaded voltages are reported, uh, showing not much difference, which shows your alternator is working and it's keeping a charge and keeping a voltage on your battery. And the ripple, which is how much the voltage is changing on your battery, is very minimal as well. So that means your alternator is working, charging is normal. So have a look at my uh, video description section for any buying links for Amazon, eBay and the like. See what I can put on there. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm, su I'm quite surprised at the device, and it's quite useful, quite a nice little device. Also comes with a straightforward manual, uh, reasonably well written, gives you details of what the tests are and the specifications and so on. Quite a few pages to it, different languages and so on. And while we're on the subject of batteries, I want to give a quick mention, I suppose, to this charger that I bought from the South, uh, I was not six months or a year ago or something. Dirt cheap, I think it was Amazon or eBay. Uh, I can't remember, somewhere around 20 quid probably. I'll uh, again look up some links for it. Um, it basically works, although you can't trust the amperage rating on it. Uh, it's got an automatic charging feature which uh, stops putting any current into it once it's charged up. Uh, also does lithium batteries and 24 volt or 12 volt, so quite useful. Uh, lorries are typically 24 volt. Uh, the voltage reading is reasonably accurate, but the current reading is something like about uh, seems to be about 70 percent over reading unless it is uh, pulsing out a certain uh, higher current and giving you the reading for that high current and it does say intelligent pulse charger so maybe that's true but what about my battery tester on the battery while it was charging uh, it gives you a little graph uh, of the uh, ripple uh, voltage how much the voltage is varying it didn't seem to be pulsing that much so i'm not sure that's true um, when I put my multimeter, which I think is uh, reasonably accurate, checked it with another one, uh, in series with the charging cable, then this would like read 14 amps when it is fully charging it's at its uh, near to its maximum capacity, whereas my meter was reading about 8 amps. Nonetheless, it was charging and it's fairly cheap and has quite high functionality. So uh, as a basic charger, it's reasonable, I would say. Be nice if that current reading was more accurate though. Uh, it's a bit noisy when it's running so let me 
just plug it in fan is not very good quality on it runs all of the time whether it's charging the battery or not and after about six months it did get very noisy initially it's actually not too bad at the moment uh, it gives you a little status of what it's doing so it's constant voltage charging at the moment um, I think the initial stage when it's charging the battery is uh, variable current charging and it tells you what the current is going into the battery and the voltage on it so quite useful for monitoring what's going on and it does cut off when it's charged up the battery and that's it nice little device i can recommend it thanks for watching and look at the video description for buying links thanks bye